This road is the starting point. A gruesome discovery. To uncover what happened to Sacramento County Sheriff's Deputy Jeffrey Mitchell. Certainly a sign of a violent struggle. It's where he fought for his life. His killer. And right here is where someone ended his life using Mitchell's own gun. Now, a memorial stands in his honor. I hope that I get to see the person responsible for Jeff Mitchell's death be arrested and held accountable. Detectives have not stopped working this case. A reminder uh, for everybody. A reminder that after all these years, the case remains unsolved. How the heck does 14 years go by without somebody being accountable? Crystal Mitchell was Deputy Mitchell's wife and mother to Jake, Jeff's only son. That morning, she was asleep when the doorbell rang at an odd hour. There was a bunch of uniformed people out there, but my eye first caught the name tag chaplain. I just started screaming. I knew he had died. Um, on my way to the hospital, there were alert signs that were on the freeway that were talking about the white Chevy van. No plates, officer shot. Crystal says the hospital was a blur. They had told me I, I couldn't touch him. They needed to preserve whatever evidence they, they could. At this point, officers were searching everywhere for information on who did this. Crystal knew she had to go home to tell their son, Jake. When I sat down with Jake, I didn't even have to say, he asked me, is daddy dead? He asked me, how he died, and I told him that a bad man shot his daddy, and he wanted to know where. And I told him in the head, and his next question was why the doctors couldn't put a Band-Aid on it and fix him. his actual badge that he was wearing the day he was killed. I turned the badge over and because I, I thought it was a duplicate badge and I turned it over and there was a laminated picture of Jake and I. Jeff kept Crystal and Jake close to his heart. Crystal says he was the best husband and dad. Mitchell was an avid baseball fan and taught his son Jake how to play the sport. He was also the little league coach here in El Dorado Hills. So when he was killed, the league renamed this the Deputy Jeff Mitchell Field in his honor. These are all the years that I've done the police unity tour. Crystal keeps her husband's memory alive through the police unity tour, an annual bike ride in Washington, D.C. to honor fallen officers. And these are all my bracelets that I've worn or been given. The years since Jeff died from the police unity tour, he orders a bracelet for an officer and rides with it during that um, 300 miles over those four days. Each of the eight rides she's done she carries Jeff's name with her. She's also become a mentor and role model for other surviving spouses who have lost their partners in the line of duty. Whatever I can do to make it a little bit easier for somebody else who was in my situation or who felt the way that I did, that helps me. And that's, that's where I get my strength. She also comes here. As much as this memorial is the starting point, can also be the ending point. The most important thing in the world is having that killer or killers pay for what they did. If you know anything about this case, call the number on your screen. You can also submit an anonymous tip to the sheriff's office. Continue to follow Unsolved California on Fridays right here on Late News Tonight.